Johnson's house. I bet Miss Johnson is making her famous cookies. Yeah, her cookies are the best this time of year. <laughs> well, hurry up then, guys. Come on. Guys, wait up. Oh. Well, who's gonna knock on the door? Ugh, I'll do it. Good evening, Mr. Johnson. I was wondering if Miss Johnson was around to give us her famous cookies. Yeah, she gives them to us like every single year. It would be great if we got some now. Please, Please. Mr. Johnson. Wow. Ugh, no, and get off my lawn. The reaction we normally get. Yeah, I wonder what's wrong with them. I just wish we knew something was wrong with Mr. Johnson. Are you guys talking about Mr. Johnson? Yeah, you know him? Yeah, pretty much everybody does. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard. Heard what? Ugh, I really shouldn't be saying anything, but his wife, she's in the hospital and he hasn't really been feeling very Christmassy. You mean he hasn't been feeling the Christmas spirit? I mean, that explains a lot. Yeah, that explains why his house looks abandoned. It's normally the most decorated place ever. But this year it's not. All because his wife isn't here? Well, she's in the hospital. So, things aren't looking too bright. Do you know how she got in the hospital? There's rumors about everything and all the possible ways she could have gotten in the hospital. One rumor was she fell off the house doing lights. The other rumor was she had a stroke or a heart attack. Or she was mauled by a bear, which I don't believe, but still, I haven't heard the real reason why she's in the hospital, and I doubt he'll actually disclose it. My best bet is just give him some space. I think we all need it this time of year anyways. Um, no, it's Christmas. Everybody does not need time away from people. If anything, you should be surrounded by people that love you, of course. And... Being alone is not something you want to be on Christmas Eve. Yeah, we have to do something about this. Will you help us? I would, but I'm already late to a Christmas party. I'll see you guys around, I guess. Good luck. So he's not feeling the Christmas spirit? We're gonna make him feel the Christmas spirit. Jaden, get me something to decorate the house with. Louis, build a snowman. And make it fast. I could have done. Yeah, I'm done too. Diamond! We need this house looking perfect. He has to get all his spirit back, okay? This house would have anybody getting their spirit back. Haven the Grinch. Let's hope so. Who's gonna do the honors? Ooh, I wanna do it. Mr. Johnson! Oh, what do you guys want again? We heard about what happened with your wife and we just want to give you your Christmas spirit back. Yeah, we can only imagine what you're going through is horrible, so we wanted to give back. We hope you like it, Mr. Johnson. Look, kids. How many times do I have to say it? Get off my lawn. I don't want to see your faces here ever again. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. Oh, has anything gone as planned lately? Ugh, I'm done with this disappointment. Okay, Diamond, go get all of your friends. Ew, find the best carolers you can ever get. I would, I don't have any money. Fine, then go back home and, oh, go get that boombox your dad bought. But that's for Joshua's Christmas gift. Do you want Mr. Johnson to be miserable for the rest of his life? You're right, it's for Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I'll be back. Why are you still standing there, Diamond? Go, get your friends. Okay, but they might be busy. Can I get my sister's friends too? Just get people. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh, you guys are back. Um, I hope it's cool that I'm here. I just heard that you guys were trying to cheer up Mr. Johnson, and I thought I might as well tag along. Please, the more, the merrier. All right. Just set up the speaker somewhere over here. You got it, boss. 
Something I never thought I would call a five-year-old. I'm 11. Now move it. Sorry, sorry. Hey guys, I brought a lot of participants. My sister, her friend, and her friend's siblings. Perfect. Like I said, the more the merrier. Okay, everybody come over to me. Except for you. Oh, Willow. Sister. Oh, yeah. Hey, I really think it's cool that you're doing this for your sister. <laughs> yeah, right back at you. Never seen you as a sibling type. You know, the one that helps out and actually likes them? Ugh, funny. Look, I know I was kind of mean to you in the past, but... I don't know. Can we try to be nice to each other? At least for these quick five minutes we're gonna be here? Yeah, I think that's doable. Alright, line up, guys. Remember, tallest in the back, shortest in the front. Come on, people. We don't have all day. <laughs> These are very demanding kids. Yeah, well, for some people, when you know what you want, you just go for it. Yeah, I guess so. All right, line up, line up. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, I'm definitely gonna need it. Everybody ready? Oh, what did I say jingle about- Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock, 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 rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing Dancing and prancing Something, something, something In the frosty air What a bright time That's the jingle bell That's the jingle bell I haven't heard that song in years Merry Christmas, Mr. Johnson I hope Miss Johnson gets better, and we all know that she would have loved this. Indeed she would have. I'm so sorry, kids. I was so cruel to you earlier. It's just, with Miss Joseph gone, things have been really hard. We know, Mr. Johnson, and we also know that she's going to be A-OK. -okay. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I guess you're right. The doctor did say she's getting better after her cricket attack. Wait, wait, wait what? what? Yeah, her cricket attack. I hope things haven't gotten too out of hand since I haven't really said what put her in the hospital. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the caroling. I honestly needed it. I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys updated on her. And if anything changes, I'll definitely let you guys know. Stop by here later tomorrow. I'll definitely have some cookies for you guys. Miss Johnson's cookies? Uh, not quite, but I'll try my best. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. It really means a lot to us. It better. You know how long it's going to take me to make those cookies? <laughs> well, I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, it's getting pretty late, guys. I think I'm going to head out. Yeah, my mom wants me back. She told me it wasn't going to take that long, and I guess she was right. Thanks, guys, for the opportunity. Come on, Casey. Aw, but I want to stay. But we have to go. Fine. Come on, Charlie. We have to go. Can we get some hot chocolate on our way home? No, but I can make you some when we get home, okay? Sweet. Come on. Charlie's getting hot chocolate. Can I get some? Make it yourself. Aw, oh, man. Guys, we did it. Honestly, didn't think it was possible. Yeah, after our second try, it seemed pretty much like it wasn't gonna happen. But it really wasn't up to Diamond, me, and you, Jaden. We would not have gotten here. We definitely would not have gotten his spirit back. And we all probably would be miserable without Miss Johnson's favorite cookies. Yeah, pretty much. And that would be a pain for everybody. <laughs> I guess it really was a Christmas miracle that brought us back together, huh? Well, that and some caroling. All right, let's go home, guys. Glad you said it before I could. <sighs> like always, he leaves me to clean up the mess. Hey. Oh, hey, I thought you left with everybody else. Trust me, it was tempting. But I just want to know, what made you want to be nice to me all of a sudden? I mean, all those years ago, you weren't nice to me before. I don't know. I guess I just really put you through so much, you know grade school, I kind of felt bad. What, is it? Do you don't want me to be nice to you? If so, it's totally fine. I can totally go back no. to- No! I like you being nice to me. I don't know. I just like the feeling, that's all. But, you did stay for five minutes, and my five minutes are sadly up. 
So I guess I'll see you in school? Yeah, see you in school. Okay then. Whoa! Whoa! I got you. Are you okay? Never felt better.